Hello everyone, this is Jom and welcome to Civil Raja, your gateway to future. So guys, on this channel, we are discussing about Tecla Structural Designer, which is a structural designing software. Now, what do you mean by structural designing software? This software will allow you to know what should be the size of the beam, column and all other structural members and what should be the reinforcement within them so that they can bear the load on the structure. Okay, now. Um, so what we have to do over here, we have to first of all model the whole structure and then we have to apply some kind of cross, -sec cross section. So that will be a dummy cross section. So I have taken the dummy cross section for beam as a 250 by 350 and for the plinth beam it was 250 by 300. For columns I guess uh, it was again 250 by 300. Okay. Now we have also learned how to calculate the wall loads or you can say the dead loads so the, for the calculation of the wall load you can check out the previous video and that is available on the same channel that is civil treasure and i will also give the link of that by the end of this video now i'm just going to show my screen to you where you can see that this is the calculation of the masonry wall load and i have taken the a red brick over here. So according to that, the exterior walls that are of 10 inches or 9 inches somewhere, it depends upon the location to location. So it is 12 kilonewton per meter, whereas the uh, like interior walls. So this should be interior. I will just correct it now. I N interior. It should be uh, 6.6 .6 kilonewton per meter, whereas the load of the parapet wall should be 1.8 kilonewton per meter. You can also make it like a 2 kilonewton per meter for the safe side. So I'm just going to apply that in the software. Now, this is my software and the model on which I am working is over here. So I will simply click on open and I will go to the particular folder where I have saved my model and click on just open after selecting the model and it will open up in my software where I have already done the modeling of the plinth beam, roof beam and uh, the slabs. Also, I have already modeled the columns over here. So this is the structure 3D of that. I will first of all validate my model. So for that, I have this option of validate over here and I will see whether my model is valid or not. I don't need any kind of grid lines over here. So I can simply hide the grid lines. And for that, we have this scene content over here. So I can simply go to the scene content and over here, I will uncheck the architectural grids. Now this will help me to like uh, work smoothly over here. Okay, nothing else. Now I will simply come over here and start applying the dead loads. Now, for the plinth beam, I will have the dead loads only where the rooms are present and also where the walls, that means the uh, outer walls are present. Okay, so I will go to the plinth level over here. I will start applying the dead load. Now, what should be the exterior wall load over here? That should be 12 kilonewton per meter. So I am just going to start with 12 kilonewton per meter of the dead load for the walls. So I will just go to the loads and then what I have to do, I have to come over here and click on dead. So I will be applying the dead load over here. Now we have this full UDL and this UDL. These two options we are going to use. Now this full UDL, uh, when I'm using this full UDL, suppose I'm using this now, I will just uh, uh, mark it as 12 kN per meter. Okay. Now I will apply it over here at the external walls. Okay, so it is selecting the whole uh, beam wherever I want to mark it. Okay, so you can see this is being selected. The whole beam is being selected. Now over here again, I have a room. So I will simply select that one too. Okay, so these are the exterior walls that I have to select. Now, over here you will see that I have a bathroom. Okay, so over here, I have a bathroom and obviously this bathroom will not require this much of the load. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the unit of that and make it how much? 6 kilonewton or you can say 6.6 .6 kilonewton will be good. So I'm going to go with 6.6 .6 kilonewton over here. So this is the duct. Then we have this wall over here. 
So I'm applying the load of 6.6 .6 kilonewton at these places. Okay. Now all the loads have been applied. I'm not applying any kind of load on these walls because I don't have any kind of loads over or any kind of walls over here. So I will not apply any load on these beams. Okay. So these beams uh, can be left out. If you have rooms anywhere, then you can simply apply the loads over there. Okay. But over here, I don't have any kind of rooms. Yeah. Over here, I have a staircase. So for that, I will have to apply the load of 12 again at this place. And again, I should have a beam over here. So I can simply construct a beam. I will just uh, go to the beams. For that, I will go to model and again come to the beam. So you can see, you can easily make changes whenever you want in this software. So I will go with this beam. Okay. Validation I will do in a minute. First of all, let's make this beam first. Okay. So yeah, my beam is ready. Now I will go to load and simply apply the load of fully ODL at this place. Okay. Now you have to be a little precise over here because if you will just double click over any beam, then the loads will be applied two times over here. Now in the structure 3D, we can just check whether our load is applied properly or not. So you can see everywhere we have the load of 12 kilonewton, right? You can see uh, in the uh, small box of select entity, right? And wherever we have applied the load of 6.6 .6 kilonewton, you can simply see the load of 6.6 .6 kilonewton over there. Similarly, we have to apply the loads on other floors also. Okay. So I will just go to the front and then we can simply start applying the loads. So this is the next floor where we have to apply the load. Okay. So you have to just keep in mind where and what kind of load you have to apply. So we will go to the load and then we will select the dead load over here because we are working with the dead loads at this moment. Now we have to also go to the full UDL and over here we have to go with the desired load that we want, which is 12 kilonewton per meter in our case. So first of all, for exterior walls, we will apply with 12 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so this is being applied over here at all the beams. Let's check. Yeah, it is being applied. And whenever you have any kind of confusion, you can simply come to the 3D and you can see whether it is being applied properly or not. Okay, so like this, you have to apply the loads. Now, I have left this portion. Okay. And I will tell you why in a moment. So let's apply it at all the external wall places. So here it will be, uh, it will be applied with 10 kN per meter. Now here we don't have to apply the 10 inch wall over here till this whole distance. Okay. So we can simply go with UDL. Okay. Now we will select the same load and we will click at this place and then this double click over here. Then go for UDL, pick the load position, first load end and second load end. Okay. Now again over here. Now, that means if you want to like uh, don't apply the load on the whole beam and you want to put a particular portion, then you can go with this option. You have to just uh, select the position, then the pick the load case end and the load position end. Okay. And it will be applied like that. Okay. And you can simply check that in the 3D view also, whether it has been applied properly or not. So over here it is applied over at this beam. It has not been applied. Okay. So we'll apply that. And at this beam, let's check for this one. It is not applied properly. However, it is applied. 
so it has been applied but not properly so again we will go to the another level over here and zoom it so it has not been applied till the whole beam okay so we will again go for yodl select the position first end and then second end yeah now it has been applied properly now we will go for this one again udl position first end and second end so like this you can simply apply the whole load okay so yeah it's been applied over here okay so now our loads are applied properly we can again go ahead and cross check in this so you can see the loads have been applied properly now i will just rotate it a little bit and you can see this has been applied properly yeah so and now we have to apply the load of internal walls okay so again go for the label then full udl and then we have to apply the load of 6.6 .6 kilonewton per meter okay now hit enter now over here i will go with full udl okay so i have to apply the load on all the beams that are present over here and left out so over here we don't have any kind of b wall load because it is a balcony so i will just uh, undo that okay so even if you are not uh, that much precise then that will not affect the things very much but if you are precise then that will just help you a bit to get the precise loads okay again i don't have any kind of wall over here this is just to support the slab okay so i don't need to apply any load on this beam i guess the plan has already been discussed earlier so you can see where is the external wall load where is the internal wall load everything is clear now right this is the external wall load again if we want to check then you can just go to the structure 3d and you can check whether the wall loads have been applied properly or not okay so it has been applied properly everywhere now we will go for the next level that is this one okay so again i will just click on validate so my model will be validated from here i will go to my structure and levels and then i will go for the third level that is over here and over here i have to apply the parapet wall load just the parapet one okay so i can simply uh just go to the like uh dead load then i will go for full udl here i will mark it as 1.8 or 2 whatever you want you can simply take that i'm just taking 1.8 but even if you will take 2 it will not affect your project very much okay so full udl and single click everywhere wherever is your parapet wall okay so it will be just on the external portion now for this portion i will just go with some external loads okay now the parapet wall will be on this slab okay so we don't have to apply load over here so that's why i have applied the same load over this place okay so that this load will be calculated by the beams okay just as simple as that now we will go for the headroom portion now in the headroom portion how much load we will have we will have just the like live load if you are making the parapet wall then it is okay otherwise there will be no kind like uh, load over here so even if you want to add some load then you can go with that otherwise it is not very much necessary okay so just to increase the load i will just go for 1.8 
but it is not necessary. Let me clarify you that. Okay, you can just uh, like uh, apply the live load over here. That will be enough. Okay, so you can see all the loads are applied at the desired location. Right now, what we have to do? We have to apply the live load, and live load will be applied on the slabs. Okay, so on the slabs, if you want to apply the live load on the ground floor, we don't have any kind of slab. So we don't have to apply any kind of load over here, right? Now on the roof level of the ground floor, we have the slabs over here. So obviously there will be some kind of load over there. So I will directly go for there. Okay. And for the live loads, I will just switch to the imposed load. Imposed load and the live load are the same things. Now over here, you can see we have the different options of load on slab. Right, so this is the level load. Then this is the slab load, and we can simply apply the slab load over there. Then this is the level load. We can go with these type of loads. Okay, so I'm going for slab load. Now, if you want to apply some point load, line load, then all these things are also possible. But we will go for the slab load for now. Okay, so this will be two kilonewton per meter square. And I will apply it at this place. Okay, so the load is applied on the whole slab. Let's go to the structure and check the imposed load. So you can see the slab load is applied over here. Okay, now again, there was one more option over here actually. For the imposed load, but uh, anyway, we will go for with this one for now. And uh, if I'm getting with the another one, then I will just get back to you. Okay. So on the first load roof level, I will just go with the slab load, which is again slab load of two kilometer per meter square. I will apply it. Then on the headroom level. I will again go with the slab load. Let's apply the five kilonewton per meter square. In the structure three D, we will simply check that dead load, then imposed load. So actually, it's applied over here, but I'm not sure. Why it is not being visible over here? But it is applied. Okay. So once I will just restart this whole thing, then it will be shown over there. Okay. So guys, that was all for today, and we will uh, meet in the next session. Till then, take care. And uh, if you have any kind of question, then you can simply leave that in the comment section. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.